So what we are gonna do right now is a uh, basic data exploration with um, uh, the tidyverse and ggplot. And so once we have downloaded um, R and RStudio, uh, we should open RStudio, which is this. And this is what we are going to encounter. Uh, in the left uh, part, we can see the console. And in the right part, we can see the environment, which is the uh, where we have uh, our our variables. And down here, we can see our files and where we are going to see our plots. And we, if we need any help with any package, we can search through here. So first thing we want to do is see if we have our uh, install or the version or what version of our we are we are using and for that we can just put console in the console version and we have here what we are using right now which is good because um, we don't want to use um, a really old version of far the last one I think is uh, four or four, four point something um, we are going to create a project because what we do when we create a project is uh, we set a root file folder and that is good because we can start working from that from there and not from there from our another folder uh, randomly and so I have a folder already created with uh, my data which I've already downloaded downloaded and so I need I am going to use an existing directory and here I have it here into the bar and we I'm going to create a project right here and this is gonna open a new a new session for me uh, where the um, where the root folder is already my my folder uh, the one where I have my data and my other things that I could have of my project and so I'm gonna work in in new script which I can open here in the left uh, corner um, and so uh, so here working the script and working in the console it's the same thing uh, basically I'm executing um, my comments from here but everything I do here I can save later so I can just save the file and in my in my folder and call it uh, I don't know script. Um. So what I'm gonna do first is to install my uh, the package that I want to use. Uh, uh, for that I'm going to use install packages, and the package is called tidyverse. Um. This is really fast for me because I already have it. But if you don't, then it will just uh, take a little bit. And but don't worry, not too much. And so I already done this. I, I don't need to do this anymore. And because of that, I'm going to command. Uh, command is command. <laughs> and and so it it will not be um, run every time I source uh, the file. When I source the file, I run the file completely like every instruction that I, that I have here if I run um, if I want to run only one one line I will use run or I will use um, command enter or control enter depends how if you're on Windows or on Mac and um, which is the same thing that I did which seemed magic right now when I when I just uh, I wrote here and it, it was executed here I, we can we can see it now that for me to um, to load uh, the library I just need to use this uh, this function which is called library and with the autocomplete I can use uh, I can set tidyverse and now with command enter I can just uh, uh, execute the order in the command line, uh, which is the console. Um, Tidyverse is really a bundle of packages, um, which is really useful if you are 
working with data because mostly they it, it has mostly most things that you could use. Um, we are going to use right now Reader for read data and ggplot for um, for graphs. But uh, you have here, for example, you have Dplyr and Tidier and to work with the data, for example, if you wanted to tidy a little bit, uh, delete some uh, NAs, or if you want to group by, by some variable or something, you can use dplyr. And if you want to, for example, work with strings, uh, like, um, I don't know, uh, if you want to work with strings, then you can, the stringer will be already loaded with a tidy pairs. Um, it's the same thing that if you start uh, a program and then you just execute it. It's the same thing. Basically, the concept is the same. So what I'm going to do right now is to load my data with, with CC, CSV. And my data is here. I'm, I'm just, this is my root. So I just have to navigate until my data, which is data uh, Pokemon and I can just auto complete with a tab and again command enter and I will just um, execute this command so what happened here I just read my data I parse the data with this kind of type of specification and I have a data frame which is called a table here in in tidyverse it, it has 166 line and 13 uh, variables or columns um, but what happened I didn't uh, save it in any in any variable I don't have here any assignment so my environment is empty so I cannot use it later if to do that I'm just going to assign it to a variable called df which is short for data frame and um, this is the symbol for assigning we can also use equal but in r is more more common to use this this arrow and again i can execute and have my variable here um because it's not really that big i can just go to this little box here and see my data. Uh, if it if it were really really big, I I am my advice is just not do this because um, because it would load all the all the data and it's really really heavy. So we have some some functions that will help us to see uh, how is our data. Uh, for this we have for example we have head and I called of course my data inside the function and what we what uh, this does is um, showing us the first um, five uh, rows of first of uh, the data if I wanted to see 15 I would just indicate it here I can see a summary of the data um, this is really useful um, because uh, for each uh, variable that is uh, or column that is um, uh, numeric, you can see the distribution like the minimum and the first quartile and the median, the mean, etc. etc. And for character, I can only just see characters, and for um, and for a boolean or logical i can see how many are of uh, false or true um another um useful function um is names which will tell us the name of the of the variables so of the columns that i have um so what we are going to do now is uh, do some basic plots um, to see uh, how the data is distributed. 
uh, for example, uh, first thing we, we want to do is to call the, the, the actual function that will help us um, we will help the, we will help us um, uh, load the data in our in our graph and for this we have to call ggplot and the data and we, for the x and the y we want to call this little function inside the ggplot which is called is for our aesthetics um, here we can indicate the x and the y and basically what this does is says um, just look inside the the data frame so I can just here say for my x-axis I want to do I want to see attack and for my y-axis I want to see defense so now I have to choose uh, uh, whatever geometry I want to I want to add it uh, with the plus sign I can just go into the next line just um, to, to see that my line is not too um, too big so it will be secured as one command and for the geometry I just will just call geom and now I want to see points and here if I execute, if I go run, it's the same thing uh, I will see attack on the X and defense on the Y uh, same thing I can do for example if I want to see an Instagram it's really really easy, I just have to call again ggplot and the data and for the for the Instagram I just have one variable with, with, because basically what it does for the other variable is to count the number of observations that I have in that value so I want to see the distribution for example of uh, special attacks um, I will call this X and special attack which is my column and now I want to to call the geometry histogram. This is really neat because now I can see that 20, um, 20 uh, Pokemons have uh, a special an special attack of uh, almost 50 points, which is really cool. I can see if my data is distributed uh, normally or if it's binary or whatever it is. Um, here I can I can see the number of bins, which is the number of little columns that I have here. I have um, here 30, but I can just uh, go higher. And because I have almost 200 in special attack, I can go just say, okay, 50. And now we will see another distribution. Okay. And now for the last uh, uh, example, I'm going to I'm going to use, see another plot which is really useful for me at least, uh, which is called box plot. Here is the same thing. I will call the data frame, and what what I'm going to do with this box plot, and I say one, I want to see the distribution of uh, the distribution of the values of uh, of for example the speed so i'm gonna call the speed in my x-axis and then i'm going to use box plot so here if, I, if normally the speed is it goes up upward so I'm going to just rotate the the axis and then I call the speed in the y axis so I can see it better so what it does here is to I, I can see the medium which is this line here and this tells me how the data is how the values of the speed are distributed so the median is basically the the median value when they are short from lower to higher so uh, it tells me what the 50% of the, of the data is uh, and it is 
near uh, 80. And here it tells me uh, where the 25% 20, to the 50% of the data is, and here the 50% 50, 50 to the to the 75 percent of the data is and here are some stream values that basically what i'm doing is that saying that that mostly all my, my values are here so mostly all, all pokemon have a speed between um between I don't know what is this this is 60 so 50 and I don't know 90 okay so what I, I want to see that uh, by type remember that type where we can see type here in head uh, head my df type is the type see if it's grass or fire of my Pokemon so I want to see this by type what I do here is I want to color it by type and I just call color and type. Why do I call the aesthetics again? It's because I want to I, I, I'm telling him I'm telling that the the code to look into the data frame. Sorry, I just if you highlight something and execute is executed so uh, what I did is uh, execute the eyes but I wanted everything so here I can see the speed how it's distributed by uh, by each of the of the types of bugs and that's it I hope it's useful bye